Yo, hey, what is going on guys? It's Farrell from 2Ks Gaming here. Today I'm going to be giving you a computer craft tutorial. This one's going to be on how to fortify your house and protect it with a computer and make a password locked door with GUI to protect that all, all your diamonds in your house. So, um, this will help with raid worlds and uh, just playing protecting the base, and it's pretty cool. So it's going to be a simple GUI. It's not going to have uh, many. Like, it's not going to have options that you can go through with your key arrows. But um, that might be in another tutorial. So look out for that. Maybe an operating system. But anyway, um, another thing to note is that it needs to be beside the door, or um, if you're having it not near the door, then it has to be uh, redstone up with the door, or have a wireless receiver. So, mine's going to be right here. Another thing to note is that you can use a computer, or an advanced computer for this. I'm just going to be using a computer, because most of you won't have an advanced computer, and it works on both. So, you want to go into your computer and edit, startup, or the name of what yours is going to be. If you have it as startup, then um, whenever you reboot it, it will run whatever's in it. So, just to give you an example. Hello. Boop. It runs it automatically. Hello. So. I'm also going to be editing the code for a third party application called Notepad. So if you want to know how to um, do this with and connect it with your computer, you want to save and quit. I mean, you want to save and exit out of the editor and then save and quit and open up your world once more and go to percent sign, data percent sign. Dot Minecraft video, or I mean saves, and your world, which one is video, computer, and whichever ID is, minus four. Right click, and open Notepad Plus Plus. Notepad Plus Plus, the coding for this, uh, and the computer craft mod, they will all be in the description, so you have pretty much everything you need. Now, now that we have this, um, first thing we're gonna do is just clean up our GUI. So type in term.clear, parentheses, and quotation marks, and, um, oops, not quotation marks, my bad. It's term.clear, and then line under that, so hit enter. Term.set, here's sir, cost, which stands for position, and one, comma, one. What this does is it clears the screen and sets our cursor at line one, space one. So I'll show you. Completely clears it, sets to the very top. Next, we're gonna go ahead and start on our GUI. So, print, parentheses and quotation marks, and I'm just gonna make a box GUI to hold everything in. Just because uh, I think it looks nice, so. Some reasons I'm using Notepad++ is because you can copy and paste, and making a GUI can be uh, a little bit tough if you can't do that. And I'm also, I also think it's a bit easier for you guys to see. Speaking of which, start the text in here. So I'm going to make the top just say, uh, home. And, um, I'll just say, base, enter, pass. No, no, um, enter, password, colon. I think that looks nice. There we go, enter password. Um, and here, I'm just going to type in all caps, bar balls. And on the bottom, I'm going to put house. Usually, I don't make my GYs like this, but, <clears throat> you know, I thought, why not this time? Just change it up a bit. Oops. Bar house. Okay. 
Okay, just to show you what this is gonna look like, I'm gonna save this and reboot the computer. Bar Hall's house, enter password. So, next, directly under this, what we're gonna do is type write parentheses, quotation marks, and we're gonna type in what's gonna be beside where they write. So, I'm gonna make mine say password, colon, space. Now, uh, if you are using Notepad, plus plus, uh, I would advise you to click language L and Lua, since that is the language of the computer graph. It's just a little bit easier um, for me, at least, and it will probably help you. So under that, this we're gonna call um, stage one, because this is pretty much the stage one of what we're gonna be doing. And down here, we're gonna call this stage two. <coughs> now here, uh. We're gonna get to that in a minute. On stage one, we're gonna we're going to uh, make it cover up the text like an ATM. I don't know if you've seen it before, but you wanna type in local uh, GUI pass is what we'll call it. The password for this. Um we'll call it GUI pass. You can call it whatever you want, but it doesn't matter. Local GUI pass equals read parentheses, quotation marks, and um, I'll make mine an asterisk, because that's usually what they have. So now, whatever we type will be an asterisk, and this applies for whatever you put in this space right here. Now, on stage two, we're going to say what happens, and when the correct password is entered, and what the password is. So. If, oops, caps off. if GUI pass, uh, this right here, uh, it doesn't have to be GUI pass, it's just whatever you had up here. If GUI pass equal equal parentheses quotation marks, this is where you declare what, what your password is going to be. So for me, I'm just going to make a test. If GUI pass equal equal test, then, and then down here we're going to have end, just end the function, and here's where we're going to write all of our stuff, I guess, off. Why don't we print, uh, correct, and we'll save that. So, we'll see if this works. And, uh, test, correct. So, yeah, that's what we have so far, and, um, uh, alright, so that works. Now, it's going to print correct, and it will sleep for five seconds. Now, it's going to open the door, so I'm going to do redstone dot set output parentheses quotation mark, just one, left quotation mark, comma, true parentheses. So, it'll set the output to true. And actually, this I don't want. I want that to be one second. So it'll say correct. It'll sleep for one second. And then I want it to do term.clear. So we did term.clear so that it just clears the screen. Does the redstone output. Here, we want it to sleep for, um, I'll say six seconds. This is going to be how long the door is open. So six seconds is good enough for me to get through. Then redstone dot set output and just type in the whole thing again so left com, oops, comma <laughs> false this time now left for me is because my computer is on the right side of my door so the door is on the left of my computer that's which direction it's going to send the output to false sleep one second os.reboot save now if we reboot this oops reboot and uh, password we'll type in test correct waits one second opens the door for us to get through wait six seconds closes it again and it reboots itself so now we're gonna make it to where, uh, what happens if they get it wrong.
So, to do this, we're gonna go, and down here, we're gonna type, else. And this is what's gonna happen if they get it wrong. So, print, incorrect. Sleep for two seconds, just so they can read the message. And term dot clear. Uh, term dot set cursor. Plus. Actually, you know what? We'll just make it reboot. OS dot reboot. Parentheses end. So, I'm gonna go ahead and reboot our computer. That will also make it to where if they have something besides the password, then it won't, you know, terminate the program. So, test will make it go. And now if we type something besides test, so just a bunch of random gibberish, incorrect, wait two seconds, and then reboot. Actually, I'm going to take this one step further, and instead of printing it incorrect, it's going to make a little GUI saying incorrect rebooting, or uh, something like that. So, I think that'll make it look a little bit nicer. Pass incorrect. Yeah, I think that looks nice. So, say pass incorrect, and then do the whole thing again. But, we're gonna have this term dot clear. And term dot set cursor plus one comma one save and we'll see if this works so reboot you know incorrect it'll do this we're gonna have to terminate the program to reboot it and now if we type in you know something that's not the password pass incorrect and it'll reboot itself so yeah thank you guys for watching uh, please comment, rate, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next video. This was Barho from Two Guys Gaming showing you how to make your password locked door in Minecraft with the Computercraft mod. So, peace out.